Not all great artists remain in the public consciousness for all eternity. Some are but momentary travelers through our world. <laughs> It's better to be a bad rock and roll musician than be any kind of jazz musician. You'll get more respect. Hello, my name is Justin Kay, son of the great avant-garde jazz drummer Randy Kay. Oh, Randy was described uh, by one fellow musician as uh, an artist's artist. And uh, I'm making this film because I believe my dad was a great drummer and an even greater artist. And my hope is that he gets the respect that he deserves in the history of jazz. Even though Randy is gone, there's a whole musical community that can help tell his story. This film is my journey to find them. And that's why I'm here to ask you for your support on this project. And he was a, what they called a tasty drummer. He could play, he could play all kinds of stuff. And then you realize that it was more than just, he wasn't a drum beater, he was, he was really a percussionist. Oh my God, he, he, nobody could play drums like him. I put him with Paul Motion, I put him with uh, Jack DeJanet, um, I put him with the greats. In making this tribute documentary about my father, Randy Kay, over the last several years I've met some very interesting people with very unique stories. Sometimes I was telling my boy too, he would do this thing with his, his wedding ring, right? Underneath the, underneath the symbol, he would do stuff and he would be doing something else with his hand. So you're looking at the hand going, how the hell is he making that sound? He was like a sleight of hand dude. He was doing this, and but he's shaking his thing here and you're being tripped because your head is watching a stick in the air, but you're hearing this, this cymbal sound and you're going, how's that happening? And, and it wasn't unless you stopped watching the magician that you got it. You know, a big part of recognition is luck. Many artists, many great artists are never really recognized in their time until long after they're gone. I would have these late night talks with my dad and he would tell me about his days playing with Jimi Hendrix or sitting in with Duke Ellington or tours to Europe with Jimmy Jufri. And I remember I, I wanted to document his story, but I didn't know how. And it wasn't actually until his passing that I realized that I had to do this project. And Randy was never any different. He wasn't any different playing at a dive where only two people showed up and you were gonna make $3, or playing at the Berlin Opera House. I mean, he just kind of exuded jazz and hip, but it was not a put on at all. I mean, this was really, he was the real thing. I need your help to make this film possible. Up until this time, I've been using borrowed equipment. So I need funding to buy my own equipment to finish the film. I also need money for travel, also post-production and editing. I'm hoping that I can also uncover some archival footage, both video and music of my father to add to the film. And ultimately, I'd love to be able to show the film at a few festivals and contests. 